I'm here at the antique show with a very shy dealer, which is pretty funny because when you hear him, you'll know he's not really shy at all. But he's got a great booth full of all sorts of picture frames, and we wanted to hear about it. So we're going to interview Keith, and we're going to look at the picture frames while we hear him tell us all about how great they are. Hi. Most of the frames we have here are from about 1880 to about 1910. Most of them are either French, gilt, bronze, or European, and they um, come in quite a range of shapes and sizes, and uh, it's always fun to get a pair. You had some that were marked, as I understand? Yes, there's, occasionally you'll get one that's marked by Stern Brothers, or um, like Woodward and Lothrop, big retailers in uh, America. They would often buy French frames, bring them to America, and sign them with the store logos. And uh, there are some people who collect only Stern Brothers frames or um, a Philadelphia uh, Woodworth and Lothrop out of New York, out of D.C. or something like that. Now I notice they're all full of blue paper, which makes your booth look wonderful. But well, thank you. It unifies the booth, and I often find that when people see frames with the photos in them, they wonder how can somebody get rid of a relative, and. Uh, but it unifies the booth, and it makes the, the booth look cohesive. Now, I want to ask the, the question everybody wants to know. How do they run in price? Well, they run anywhere from $75, $85 up to a couple of hundred, three, four hundred. I uh, sold a frame, a French frame, last weekend in Charlotte for five fifty. It was exquisite frame. It had fleur-de-lis on it, and it had a little crown at the top of it, which the woman who purchased it got it for her grandchild, uh, because every little princess needs a crown. Oh, my goodness. Now, you mentioned to me that you had something you called piano frames? Yes, the frames with the black, it's a reverse painted glass, kind of a deco looking. They generally uh, were designed to go on a black baby grand piano, and they are uh, anywhere from the very late 20s to the very early 40s. The nicer the filigree work, um, the earlier they are. Well, that's interesting. So you can date them from their yes. yes, you can. You can date them easily by that. Um, when you see, like the one that she's filming right now is probably 1932, 33, and the one that's above it is late uh, 30s, early 40s. And you can see the difference in the workmanship between it. Thank you very much. I learned a lot.